Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me yet again. My name is Wolki and I'm here with another quick Lost Ark tutorial. Tutorial? Tutorial. This is going to be the Auction House 101. There's been a couple questions over how I browse the market and a few things. So I decided, well, this might actually be a topic that a bunch of people are interested in. Anyways, without further ado, the very first tip is actually something that most people may not know who are existing players, but new players definitely should be aware of. And that is, you don't actually have to have an active pet to use the remote storage. So typically, for those of you who are familiar with the game, you know that you have your pet active to get the bonus stats or the remote access to repairs, your storage and stuff like that. There's also an auction house tab here, but you just simply have that function now built in, even if you don't have this pet active. So as you can see, my pet is not active. I could activate it, but as long as you have this little button here, and in case that button is not here, we're just going to remove this, right? So it may be looking something like this. So all you got to do then, just go here, remove whatever selfie camera, whatever you don't need. At the auction house, Evola, you have remote access. In case you do actually want to visit the NPC for whatever reason, maybe you want to RP or something, who knows? Then you just look for this kind of NPC here, which is pretty much almost the same icon. There you can go. This NPC here is where you're going. With that out of the way, let's actually get into the meat of things. I want to divide the auction house in two things here or in two sections. First of all is the auction tab. Everything in the auction tab is pretty much directly used or in some way, shape or form a consumable. The only exception for that is outfits. So do you actually buy class outfits and legendary avatars and normal avatars in this tab as well? Which I, you know, kind of would not really put into the removal tab. Outside of this, you have seal books, you have materials, which are at least one kind of a consumable and recovery items, offensive bombs and all sorts of stuff, foods, voyage stuff, all sorts of things that you essentially consume or use in one way or another. Outside of this, there isn't really a whole lot that I want to give you guys on this tab here. Pretty much, since we're, or most of you are playing on a foreign server, use the categories here to filter what you're looking for. For example, if you're looking for foods, go there. If you're looking for, let's say, healing items, then go battle items and recovery. So you don't really have to search it. There are a few buttons here, which is basically if really straightforward. The grades only really make any sense um, since we're looking at tier one, tier two, and tier three gear. So as far as consumable goes, this doesn't make any sense. In case you want to look for anything specific, let's say you just wanted to look for purple potions, eh, you could do that here with that filter here as well. Outside of this, in order to apply those filters, this is always what you're looking at. Trades is very simple. This is where your trades are listed. So everything you're selling that goes to the auction tab is here. You can see you have 10 slots. I could sell this, for example. Let's just list it here for the sake of having it listed, et voila, you can see it here. Outside of this, there's one more or less needle trick that I want to give you guys here. There is a search bar here, right? And for those of you who are playing with the English patch on, which is pretty much the same that I'm doing right now, you can actually see that the game auto fills or auto fulfills what I'm searching for. So let's say I want to search for grudge. It doesn't actually find anything. Even if I click on any of those examples, it doesn't find anything. The reason for that being, it's fairly straightforward. The game or the underlying data and database is obviously still in Russian. So if I punch an English or Latin word in here, the game, the underlying database is still going to be in Russian or Cyrillic. So they don't know what the hell I'm looking for. However, obviously, since we're smart, nifty and tricky and also tinkery, you can just copy paste either from Google Translate or maybe your friends or you can use various websites where there's like English stuff on it. For example, this is the Russian version of Gretsch. If I search this, you can see that there's no auto fulfill popping up. But if I punch in, actually, I should not be in here because we just were in the potion where you can see that it now lists all four grudge versions, right? So if I do actually search for grudge this way, even if I click on it, it doesn't work. But if I copy the Russian spelling in, it actually gives me the result. So if there is anything specifically that you're looking for, do so with the Russian name. Obviously, if you're on the Japanese server or the Korean server, then by all means, you get to use the Japanese or the Korean name if you want to use the search function. Last but not least, though, for this tab, though, just really use those use those categories. There's pretty much always everything here. Obviously, you have to remove the search filter. And as you can see, 
everything here is listed very nice very clean so i don't really think you need to use the search bar but in case you do really want to use it then go for that that is it for the auction tab like i said those categories are pretty self-explanatory let's go into the bidding tab now this one's a little bit more convoluted this is everything that's not in the auction top that kind of makes sense that is ha that has to do with gear so as you can see here we have equipment ability stones accessories and gems the difference here is that almost all of those items nor actually all of those items will take peons when you want to buy them so you upon purchasing you also need to spend a currency called peons or fions in order to buy those items which are essentially just another way to convert gold and to take away gold from the economy the way to get fions is either through login events while having beatrice if you're in the russian server or you can just buy it in the miscellaneous tab there you can see one peon is 10 blue crystals or if you buy a batch of 30 fions it'll cost 270 so you get a small discount that's essentially just another gold measure that goes in but you have to be aware of that so don't just go mindlessly buying gear because you actually have to spend fions which uh, you know does cost quite a bit of gold especially looking at the current exchange rate of russia you don't just want to yeet out your blue crystals outside of this this one's like i said mostly self-explanatory this is gear this these are ability stones accessories and gems gems are actually a difference here you don't actually need to spend peons or fions when selling gems likewise on the auction tab this is something i forgot in case you're buying avatars that have been used at least once or twice let's just take a look if we can find a legendary one there's no legendary here see this one has can be resold one time so that means somebody has worn it you will also have to spend eons on it so keep that in mind going back to the bidding tab this i think there, there's a couple of things that i want to mention here first of all like i said this is all gear based second of all i would highly suggest using the filter mechanism so let's say you're looking for a specific necklace right you're clicking here and this is obviously way too much so using the filter you can set up almost everything that you want to filter by we're starting off that we want to look for let's say you want a necklace with crit specialty so we're gonna select crit specialty and let's just say i want grudge as an engraving and then i'll just want to see what else i have you can also set the min and max if i put ma min 5 that means i will only find necklaces where gr grudge where grudge is the value 5 needless to say we want to look at tier 3 which in this case is called grade and let's just say we're going to look for artifact because artifact are the only ones where we can actually get plus 5 so let's just search and now we have a very good at least filtering everything we see here is gonna have crit specialty and grudge 5. obviously i don't know what the negative is and i don't know what the other engraving is but this is a very good way to filter this or even more so let's say i want enhanced weapon okay there's none here so let's let's say i want awakening maybe there might be some on the marketplace hey voila this is a very easy way to filter what you're looking for and how to actually browse this market without going th mindlessly through page and just look at that oh what's that oh, what engravings yada 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 so definitely use that the same kind of applies to ability stones and the equipment already but for the accessory part this is very useful another tip that i want to give you here is don't just buy accessories straight off the bat put them onto your favorites just by clicking that little pin needle here you can put that into your favorite tab the reason for that is typically if you want to make a build work you usually need more than one piece that means you have to see like see through the market and actually see if you can find everything that you're looking for and in the scenario that you don't actually have everything available i would always be really cautious about spending peons and gold on certain accessories because you may not be able to get that matching last piece so what i typically would do is unless it's a piece that's either super cheap or that perfectly fits your build in those case scenarios just always buy it instantly as soon as you can other than that put it on to your favorite tab and try to essentially favorite a build first that you can afford and that actually matches your engravings and your stats need and if you have all five pieces here that would make up your build or maybe three pieces or something then just start on buying them or maybe bid on them outside of this there's two more things or rather only one more thing that i really want to give you guys on that way here is first of all always check if there's a minimum bid or a buyout a bid means that this piece is probably going to go for more than this 
right? So in this case scenario, we actually see that the starting rate is also the current minimum bid. So that tells us that nobody else has bid on this piece of equipment. So one could assume that either people are not interested in it, maybe the price is too high, or simply people haven't bid on it yet in order to spike the price up. Needless to say, a buyout is fairly convenient because you always know, all right, if I have 10,000 gold and I think this piece of uh, accessory would be worth 10,000 gold, you could just always go for it. You could also take the gamble and uh, bid on it. Needless to say, if, that, if, if it's really something that fits your bill and it's just minorly cheaper or expense, like more expensive, depending on which way you're looking at it, I would always typically use the buyout function unless it's really drastically higher in price on the buyout then you could always try to gamble and if push comes to shove, you know, you can always go for it. So these are the options that you have. Needless to say, when it comes to the filter, you have search patterns here and I highly urge you to use those. What that means is every time you open the market, right? So if you close this window, every time you go here, this is gonna be empty. Typically, for the most part, you're gonna be looking for something like accessories. So by making a template like this, you can see I have pre-selected tier three, I have pre-selected artifact, and I have set here characteristics, engravings, and stuff. This is like my basic template. Let's just say I want to look for something specifically and it's very rare, or I want to look for a variety of things. So let's say we're gonna be looking at specialty only, enhanced weapon, and let's say, let's say grudge. We're just going to search for that. Let's see if there's anything there. There's no necklace here. There's no earring. There's no nothing here. This is kind of bummer. So let's let's go around putting no minimum here. We have one necklace. This is the only piece with that stat or engraving distribution. Let's go for adrenaline instead. This should be wildly more. All right. So you can see that there's a lot more options here. But if you don't always want to put all those numbers in here, can just save this and let's call this Adren Rudge. And every time I come to the marketplace and I want to buy any of those pieces, I'm just gonna click here, go to bidding, search, et voila, the search is here. This makes your finding stuff a lot easier because browsing the market can be a very tedious task and you probably will spend some time, especially in later games or later game stages, you're probably going to sit around and look for pieces quite a few times. So I highly suggest actually figuring that out. As you can see, I have two like basic templates here where it just makes me makes my life easier. One for gear, one for accessories. And that's how I typically go for the market. History is fairly self-explanatory. My bids, these are all the items that I'm currently bidding on or that I may have outbid on. Trades, same way here. Everything that I'm selling is currently listed here favorites i think this is fairly self-explanatory and last but not least i do want to touch on the quotes tab the quotes tab is essentially a market history and not your personal history but a market history of items that have been sold right so in case you want to see maybe check what the prices were in the past or if maybe specific pieces have been sold at all you can go and look for that as you can see here there's a date of when that has been sold currently um that is really all there is so we're just gonna we're just gonna reset everything and now the filter goes up. We have almost 500 pages of items that have been sold in the past 15 days, right? This is as far as the history goes back. Outside of this, I don't really know if there's like a two week break or if it depends on how long it's been up. So you can see that you could essentially check the market for se sellings or like posting orders in the past in order maybe you want to see the price range. Let's see this. This is actually a pretty good price. Considering though it's a it's a max roll, it's max step five and garage three, that's a pretty good combination and it has rest one, so this is definitely a god roll. This price is definitely nothing short of uh, reasonable, I would say. Let's take a look at this for example. Blitz Commander Precision Dagger actually is also a pretty decent combination for some classes. Uh, crit specialty, really good value, negative one rust, so I'm surprised this actually went this low. Because necklaces are typically harder to get. Outside of this, like I said, TLDR search function is self-explanatory. Always use the filters, then definitely use presets, especially if you're looking for something that is very hard to get or very rare, use those presets. Set up your favorites in case you're looking for a more diverse or maybe like a full build of things. Don't just go mindlessly buying it, put it all in your favorites tab, and then see if you can actually afford everything, and then just in one swoop buy it all. Trades tab, as I explained, your bits tab as well, and history tab as well.
Anyways, I know this has been a fairly long video. I do hope this is somewhat helpful for people that are new to the game to understand how the market works and how you could use it to your advantage. Not necessarily how to play it, but actually how to use the functionalities that are given in this window. Outside of this, I do stream every now and then. So feel free to show up around on my Twitch channel if you are more of a live stream person. I would greatly appreciate it outside of this. I do hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.